Simon and Schuster Audio presents Bag of Bones, written and read by Stephen King. On a very hot day in August of 1994, my wife told me she was going down to the Dairy Rite Aid to pick up a refill on her sinus medicine prescription. This is stuff you can buy over the counter these days, I believe. I'd finished my writing for the day and offered to pick it up for her. She said thanks, but she wanted to get a piece of fish at the supermarket next door anyway. Two birds with one stone and all that. She blew a kiss at me off the palm of her hand and went out. The next time I saw her, she was on TV. That's how you identify the dead here in Derry. No walking down a subterranean corridor with green tiles on the walls and long fluorescent bars overhead. No naked body rolling out of a chilly drawer on casters. You just go into an office marked private and look at a TV screen and say yep or nope. The Rite Aid and the Shopwell are less than a mile from our house in a little neighborhood strip mall which also supports a video store, a used bookstore named Spread It Around. They do a very brisk business in my old paperbacks, a radio shack, and a fast photo. It's on Up Mile Hill at the intersection of Witcham and Jackson. She parked in front of Blockbuster Video, went into the drugstore, and did business with Mr. Joe Weiser, who was the druggist in those days. He has since moved on to the Rite Aid in Bangor. At the checkout, she picked up one of those little chocolates with marshmallow inside, this one in the shape of a mouse. I found it later in her purse. I unwrapped it and ate it myself, sitting at the kitchen table with the contents of a red handbag spread out in front of me, and it was like taking communion. When it was gone, except for the taste of chocolate on my tongue and in my throat, I burst into tears. I sat there in the litter of her Kleenex and makeup and keys and half-finished rolls of certs and cried with my hands over my eyes the way a kid cries. The sinus inhaler was in a Rite Aid bag. It had cost $12.18. There was something else in the bag, too, an item which had cost twenty-two fifty. And I looked at this other item for a long time, seeing it but not understanding it. I was surprised, maybe even stunned, but the idea that Joanna Arlen Noonan might have been... Sample complete. Ready to continue?